And here's another one of the Philippines poster boys, Angelo K. And on the Asian tour, he's popular not only for his game, but also his antics. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angelo K. <laughs> the real Angelo K is really who you see on TV. I mean, I'm, I've, I'm always joking around. I mean, but on the golf course, uh, I mean, I just try to have fun. It's just, I'm a very simple guy. I don't really need that much uh, attention. I just want to, I just want to enjoy and have fun. Angelo bonded with his wife, Tracy, and their newborn daughter, Chandra Kay, as they visited Intramuros, the walled city of Manila. Hoping to take a page from the history books, the responsible father that he is, Angelo wants to learn from the experience of others, and any advice given to him is most welcomed. Being a father is something that I can't explain. You have to feel it. I mean, like my friends before, when they, become, when they became fathers, I couldn't relate because I, I didn't know how it felt, but I think you just feel proud that you're, you're a father, and uh, you want to do everything that you can to to be there for your for your daughter or for your son, you know, it's uh, it's it's one of the m most amazing feeling I've ever, ever ever felt. And Angelo is a fast learner when it comes to fatherhood. Despite the challenges of being on the road most of the time, he somehow finds time to fulfill daddy duties. Oh, he's a great dad. He's he's awesome. It's like he re he's very hands on. He 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 really. He takes care of Chandra when, when we're at home. He really takes time, spends time with, with, um, with his daughter, plays with her, bathes her even, and even sleeps with her. This commitment that Angelo has to his family is also applied to his golf. Every time he wins, I'm very proud of him. Or even if he just goes out there and he does his best, that makes me very proud of him already. But of course, it makes me prouder if he wins. Angelo has been the pride of his nation since his days as an amateur. But one of the most defining moments of his career was winning the Philippine Open in 2008, joining the likes of two-time winner Frankie Minoza. Well, winning Philippine Open, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal, you know, winning your national, I think in, in any country, winning your national Open is a big deal. And uh, for me, winning it once is great, but I would love to win it twice. There's only a few guys who've won it twice. Frankie is one of them, uh, and I believe only a few great names have been up there with winning it twice. So I would want to be in that category as well, where they are. Since turning pro in 2003, Angelo has tasted success three times on the Asian Tour. And a 10th place finish at the Omega Mission Hills World Cup with Mars Bouquet put icing on the cake of a sweet career. In his most recent Asian Tour victory, he overcame a challenge from Chris Rogers and won the 2010 Worldwide Holdings Selangor Masters in a playoff. He accredited his success to a vegetarian diet that he followed during that week. Finally, it's done. <laughs> Going for a one week no meat diet helped me a bit because uh, you know, I felt lighter and stronger after, after that week and uh, it made me feel better about myself. At 33, Angelo is excited to see 17-year-old compatriot Miguel Tabuena make a mark on the Asian tour. And he sees this as another testament to the fact that the game is getting younger every day. When I first joined the tour, I was 23 and I was considered one of the youngest. Now, 23 is just average. I think the younger players now on average is like 18. Miguel Tabuena, he's only 17, and it's almost half my age, and it's uh, pretty good. So it's, uh, it's a bit different, but it doesn't mean that we're getting left behind. Like any other Filipino, Angelo is proud of Juvik Pagansan, who inspired his fellow players by winning the 2011 Asian Tour Order of Merit title. Well, I mean, it's, it's a motivation for me, you know, it inspires me to do to do better, of course. I mean, he's he's my friend as well, and I would be I would love to be in his shoes as well. So I mean, in order for me to do that, I gotta work harder. After winning his previous three titles in even-numbered years, this year could be his year. 
Woodbury knows it can only happen with complete focus and dedication. Well, I'm hoping it would be my year, you know. Um, so far, all, all my good achievements were been, has been on even numbers in the Asian Tour. But I hope it's not just even numbers. I want to ev win every year. It's getting harder every year, but it doesn't mean that it's impossible. All I want to do is just work harder and be more consistent, and maybe I can win every year. And of course, we wish Angelo the best of luck in his future endeavors.